Welcome, friends, to an unboxing and use of the Thrustmaster TGT. You're like, why, why, does that, why is that of any significance? My initials is TGT. Isn't that amazing? It was made to be, but they won't let me keep it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to send it back. But well, that's what we're going to try today. I want to try on GT Sport. New cars came out, so let's give them a go. But well, from what I've tried, I've, I've, Thrustmaster is just the way to go. So in this, we actually have the base of the wheel. Very nice. We have this turbo thing. I, I'm actually not sure what it's for, but we're going to find out. With this one, you get a three pedal set, because usually you get two and then you can buy the three, but this comes with the three, which is really nice, because if you want to drive manual, then you can use the clutch. This turbo, I think I think it's just the power brake. That's why the base of this one is smaller than my other one over there, which I'll show you in a second. So the bracket to mount it onto like a desk has not been opened, so I'm, I'm not gonna open it, because I don't need that. We're, we're doing it properly here. There's the GT Sport wheel, very nice, very nice finish. It's like a leather finish, and, and the knobs, they're metal, which is always nice. Well, no, the, the wheel does feel good. Nice clicky metal feeling paddles. And these are actually analog sticks. I didn't even notice that, analog sticks. We're going through menus and stuff. That's pretty nice. But to attach the wheel, very basic. You, you line up the thing and you, you shove it together and you spin that and, and it, that's it. Isn't that magic? You do need a screwdriver though to like tighten it. This is, I forget which wheel, but it's my last wheel, uh, and it's the wheel I've used for the longest time. It's the main PlayStation wheel from Thrustmaster, and it has served me very well. Anyway, so I'm just going to try and see if it mounts this wheel stand pro. And I also have my shifter, which is the TH8A shifter. I know that bit. Or that the pedals. Doesn't matter. So here's my main wheel setup, and here is the new Thrustmaster GT Sport kind of branded one. Uh, so the pedals right there, you can see are actually, I think those ones are a lot nicer. They're much more like metal-y, uh, which is nice. The actual base of it is not as wide as the other one, and that's probably why you have the external power brick there. But I'm now gonna give this a go on GT Sport. So uh, let's uh, mount this thing up. Look at that, easy. Actually mounted properly to my other wheels mount. But the screw needed to put the pedals is a little bit different, but for now it'll do. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give this bad boy a go. The shifter actually obviously just clips right in the back there uh, into the wheel, which is nice. Shifter, pedals, power, USB, pretty simple. Bang it all in, done. All right, now um, one thing is that I don't have a TV in here that I can use. So I'm gonna steal yours. Okay. Just gave you this TV and now I'm yes, taking it away. Yes, you did. You're stealing it from me. I'm taking it back. So I'll put it on here. <laughs> That'll do for now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm free. He's gonna fall forward. <laughs> Are you stuck? Oh my god, be careful. Hey, good job. The idea of this is to be the VR and wheel room. I'm building it up. We're getting there. But for now, jumping on to G. T Sport. The perfect car to absolutely spin off and die with a wheel. The, the best way, you know? The best way to jump into actually using a wheel properly for the first time in GT Sport. Just, just use a car that is probably going to be very difficult to drive. Yeah, that's an amazing idea. But it's one I wanted to add to my collection. When I change this car now, yes. Now, I am slightly terrified of this car. I mean, in, in other experiences, in other Grand Turismo games and stuff, I've had nothing but bloody spinning out and trouble with this thing. But, as I said, I want to give this thing a go, so let's jump into Arcade and start playing with it. First thing I want to say about this wheel, I don't know if you can hear it, the buttons are really nice and clicky. I know it sounds silly, but on my other wheel, it's kind of, they don't have any response as such. Which, it's still a good wheel, right? But it's, I, I like the clickiness. Clicky is good. And I also, I haven't realized I've yet to use the analog sticks, which is also, I love it. Vibrating, I know something's happening. I'm on manual. Is it, oh, all right. It's working so far. Let's see how GT Sport handles with the wheel. I'm not normally one to drive in third person, but I know people will shout at me for driving in third person with a, oh my, let's go Cobra. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the mistakes. It's all right. This is what you want to see when you jump in a Shelby Cobra. Let's go. Let's have a nice, uh, we're, we're on the brake balance. All right, the brake balance doesn't matter. I thought I was trying to control off for a second, which 
I don't particularly want to do it right now. Oh, shift down again. Yes, mate. Holding it. Hold up. Taming the cobra. Can you tame a cobra? It's a good question. I've never, I never thought about that. Smooth through. Accelerate out. Oh, yes. Do you know what? I'm going to drive in a minute. I'm going to drive the RCF and see if it actually handles like my real car. That would be so cool to try out. Yeah, that, I've never actually been... <laughs> you have to realise, I've never actually experienced my car being in a game before. Considering the fact that I had an IS200 for a while. Selfie is, so they put the IS300 in instead. Who puts an IS200 in games? Exactly. Nobody. I don't, is an IS200 in the game? I don't think so. But this man, you're Mr. Alpha, mate. You are going down. I actually, I want to beat this guy before we jump onto the RCF. I, I, I'm going to dedicate my, my challenge. Challenge today. I bought the Silver Cobra, at least finish a damn race with it in first place. Normally when I play with the wheel, this is the camera I go to. I, I, I don't know why. Normally, I mean, I like to use a cockpit view when I can, but if I'm going full hardcore mode, you know, it's time to bring out the hood camera. I can't be the only one. Come on, Alpha! Yes! Stay on my way. He's going to take me on the inside, isn't he? Nah! He's, he's scared, he's backing off. Let's go. Goodbye, Shelby Cobra in the lead. Thank you very much easy peasy lemon squeezy oh okay we held it i didn't flip and die i was take him on the inside thank you see why didn't you take me on the inside like that you could have easily taken me on the inside like that you're just giving me chance after chance after chance i don't know why you do because uh, i'm actually all right i'm not i'm not the worst player in the world so you better watch out oh! Don't get caught! Oh my god, reverse! Reverse, reverse! Oh, I completed an achievement thing and valued my car's purchase. Yeah, I did quit. It's alright. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to it at some point, but no, that was actually cool. GT Sport is probably one of the best games to jump in with a wheel and just go. It's very difficult at the beginning. I'm not going to tell a lie. When you actually first start using a wheel, you will be absolutely rubbish. Like me, still now. But now, after like a month of properly going at it, I actually found it a little bit better than using a controller. At the beginning, you, you're going to do worse. That's just the way it is. Okay, RCF time. Change, I almost went on sale. I was just like my car. Here we go, RCF. Show me you can be just like my other car. I'm interested to know how it feels like because the thought response is different depending on which mode you're in. Is it going to be constantly in, in sport mode? And that's the thing I always think about. When, like, I don't actually, I don't think about that when it's on the car, but when it's my car, I'm like, which setting is it in? Is it in eco mode? Normal mode? Sport mode? Sport plus mode? Ex expert mode. That's actually a thing. There's two expert modes, actually, which uh, the second one I can't figure out how to get into. I feel as if this thing is currently in normal mode. <laughs> I don't know if it actually considered the fact that there is a, a, a sport mode, you know? I mean, come on. Oh my god! Okay, it feels a bit like it's got traction off, but it has. It's so much slipperier than my actual car. I would love to give this a go at drifting. I don't think I've drifted with a wheel on GT Sport. That's one thing I have yet to properly give a chance. That, I, I might do that. Brake balance is still... I might, I might play around with that a little bit, you know, just twist, twist it. It's very, very cool that it has those adjust it. I mean, you can normally do that with a controller, but the fact that it's actually the dials on the, on the wheel, very nice indeed. Now let's catch this fool. He ain't got no chance. Feels right, being close to the top of the band, that's where the real power properly kicks in with my car. And I am about to take this out for once more. Come on! I'm behind you. What you? Oh, 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 I'm okay. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't push me. Oh, he's passing me. All right, I'm changing your camera view now. We're getting serious. I told you, when the hood view comes up, serious. Focus now. Focus on the actual driving rather than the commentary. Excuse me. That's my focus. Who needs a Shelby Cobra? Spend, spend an hour much on it. And you might just just get an RCF. Yeah. 36 grand of you. Probably less now since I bought it. Probably like half of that. I don't want to look because I'm too scared to look. Don't. If you search it and you put it in, I, I, I think I may have missed the break point. That's okay. Just a little love time. I kind of wish that the car on this game, that the gearbox is adjusted just like the, oh, the real thing. Because the automatic gearbox in the RCF is actually, I, I, I love it. I, I didn't think I'd like automatic gearboxes because obviously it's an automatic gearbox. It's, 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 I'm losing out on control of my car. Well, 
They are safe gearbox, it's very different. I think it's because of the whole throttle response system that they have in modern cars nowadays, where if you put your foot down fully, it doesn't just instantly do that. It, it selects the right gear, then does it. You know, it, it, it works really well. Oh no! Oh, he's passed me right at the last second! I passed him, back again. I'm instantly doing so much worse than the third person camera. But no excuses. I still won. I'm about to win. I still won. You already knew that was going to happen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the applause. I can hear you applauding me. But no, that, my friends, was the TGT Thrustmaster wheel. Thank you so much, to Thrustmaster, for sending it for me to give a go. Unfortunately, I have to give this bad boy back. I, I, I wish I didn't have to because um, I really, really like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time, guys. Thanks.